हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट टू टॉपिक म्यूचुअल फंड एंड बॉन्ड वैल्यूएशन म्यूचुअल फंड इज नॉट एनी न्यू वर्ड फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस वी सी म्यूचुअल फंड एवरीवेयर वी सी इट इन एडवर्टाइजमेंट सो व्हाट व्हाट डू वी एक्चुअली मीन व्हेन वी स्टडी इट इन फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट म्यूचुअल फंड एज वी ऑल नो इट कैन बी अ गुड सोर्स फॉर द फंड्स और रेजिंग ऑफ द कैपिटल बट एज अ टी वाई बैप स्टूडेंट्स वॉट इन साइट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर दैट वी विल सी टूडे सो फर्स्ट what is the meaning and definition given for mutual funds now for mutual funds here first we need to see what is the meaning of mutual mutual means collective mutual means something that is shared in common and funds as we all know that means finances so finances that is being shared by all the people in aggregate in total or shared by all in common such funds can be known as mutual funds for the for layman's language a mutual fund is nothing but it is a pool money that means collected by all the people from number of investors and invest the same in variety of different financial instrument now here or you also need to see different financial instrument that means all money are not put into same sort of investment uh, whereas they are diversified into different different classes of investment the income earned through this investment is again shared by all the investors those who have uh, put their money as per the proportion of investment now why this mutual funds has come up with so much of uh, popularity why people want to invest in mutual fund because investors lack time the investors who doesn't have any uh, investment knowledge or those who lack investment planning they prefer to have pool investment and for that they give their money to asset management companies now these are mutual fund companies who further manages investment as a trustee of people's money and then they invest it into different different sort of investment so as per sebi mutual funds are defined as a fund which is established in the form of trust to raise money again i repeat here a fund which is established in the form of trust therefore it is not asset management company's money whereas asset management company is acting as a trust over here it is a trust to raise money through the sale of units to the public under one or more scheme for investing securities in accordance with regulation now we will see from this chart how mutual funds work mutual funds in this chart we will see class of investors okay there are number of people number of investors who collect money who pool their money and give it to mutual fund companies or asset management companies these mutual fund companies further invested their money in the money market and different say capital market and different classes of investment and whatever profit generated by this investment the returns these are pay back to investors again now in all these what is the benefit for mutual fund companies what do they get from this again what are the characteristics of mutual funds why people uh, want to have their investment in mutual fund first of all it is a mechanism for pooling resources that means when company needs large sum of money and if it cannot get it from just from ip or just from taking a loan mutual fund is better option even for companies as well then it reduces risk if there is diversified investment loss of one investment can be compensated or set off by profit of other class of investment and this is how it reduces risk it is easy to liquidate mutual funds it you can you can buy and sell at any time and therefore a uh, liquidity is one of the important character of mutual fund then diversified investment you do not only invest in only one class of investment in case of mutual fund whereas your funds are distributed uh, in various proportion amongst debt instrument and equity instruments then professionally managed by expert as i say asset management companies these are the companies who employs highly professional and skill investor investment uh, planners 
who manages your funds further and therefore there is less risk of losses and it is regulated by authorities since it is a pool money or collected money by people uh, there there is an inter uh, intervention of sebi and certain regulatory authorities for mutual fund companies now we will see what is the history of this mutual fund and where it was originated to start with the practice of pooling fund the practice of collective investment is not uh, that uh, new or it is it was there uh, in ancient era also but on paper it was started by professor k gates rowan in europe who invented subscription from people to form a trust to provide an opportunity to diversify small investors so small investors came together and professor k gates rowan uh, in europe he invited subscription from them to have a pool investment in the year 1822 the idea of investing in a group became so popular that mutual funds started gaining uh, uh, like people's attention over here then it slowly gained its space across all europe and american continent and in other western countries as well and this is how gradually mutual funds occupy economics major portion now afterwards also uh, due to some scandals by big names mutual funds also viewed to be as a risky and fishy investment what was the picture of mutual funds in india back then mutual funds in india introductory phase was between 1963 and 1987 in 1963 uti unit trust of india was regulate was formed and it was regulated by rbi after uh, certain years in 1978 it was delinked from rbi and idbi took the charge of unit trust of india after uh, economic revolution of 1990s public sector and private sector uh, players also entered into this market and lic sbi mutual funds psb also started taking interest in mutual funds as well as there were private players also like axis icici and others then last since 2003 there is development phase of mutual funds in india normal public through sip and uh, by uh, buying certain debt and equity or mix instrument hybrid funds so they also started investing in mutual funds now ethics has a great importance in mutual funds for any company they must uh, have transparency in their business specifically mutual funds companies who deals with money and people's investment they have to be have ethics in their operations so why ethics are so important in mutual fund companies that we will see first for honest and fair business practices for transparency in business because they are dealing with people's money they should regularly and frequently issue their statements they should be in uh, touch with their investors stating what they are doing with their money so that brings transparency in mutual funds then sebi and government of india both are concerned to protect interest of investors if you see they pre they create awareness about investors and they create awareness about the scams or any fishy calls that they that generally people get they usually try to bring awareness through major social platforms so uh, this was about ethics in mutual fund then for uh, to protect consumer from frauds ethics is important to meet the requirement of laws ethics are important then ethics uh, brings or automatically if you follow the ethics you, you will comply mandatory regulations that has been appointed by sebi and other uh, official agencies then all investors for giving them an equal treatment ethics in mutual funds are, e funds are equally important so with this students we will stop here today in next lecture we will see other parts of mutual funds and bonds thank you so much